solo ride across the west coast day 6 or 14 i sat at the edge of my seat on a boat cruising along the rough royal blue waters of the arabian sea excited for what was about to happen next splash came the sound as my back hit the water when i opened my eyes i was sinking into the blue waters of nature bubbles escaped from my mouth as i was struck and dumbfounded by the perplexing beauty that i was witnessing in front of me hundreds of fishes swam with bright colors different shapes and sizes for the first time ever in my life my ears could no longer hear the sounds of the mortal world for i was in a magical place for the first time ever my skin didn't sense anything yet it felt something and for the first time ever i was conscious of only breathing After I got back on the boat, my mind was clean. It was empty, but my soul was full. In fact, it was so full that the eyes served as the gateways to the abundance of happiness that flowed down my cheeks. I had not only crossed off one thing on my list of things to do before I die, but I also felt as if I had taken birth all over again. Exactly 24 hours later, while I sat alone in the shacks. of sauce and gokarna relishing on the delicious and sweet nutella uh, banana pancakes that lay in front of me i noticed the couple laughing enjoying and displaying signs of affection towards one another while playing the game of jenga i immediately remembered my favorite memory that i shared with my ex girlfriend while we sat in a cafe eating a favorite dish a pizza laughing and bonding over a game of jenga which she won such a beautiful moment to be there and then came the reality crash down the people no longer together and that very thought broke my very heart into tiny fragments that came out of my eyes trickling down my cheeks finally falling onto the plate that came from one day I was happy, filled with zeal and enthusiasm, and the very next, I had thoughts of regret, failure, loss, and despair. Such a drastic difference. Have any of you been in a situation similar to this? Raise your hands if you have. A couple of days after I came back from the trip, I was listening to an audio recording. by an american author earl nightingale in which he spoke about the science behind how thoughts function he said your thoughts have powers they are like the seeds planted in the fertile soil of the mind what you sow is what you reap i was fascinated and motivated at the same time by this idea in fact so much so that i immediately were to put this theory into practice I knew the thought I wanted to leave. All I had to do next was focus all of my energy in it. It was the first thing I did when I woke up in the morning. It was the first thing I did before. I, it was the last thing I did before I went to bed. It was the only thing I did when I had no productive thoughts during the day. And what happened next blew my mind. Within just a week. my eats were ready to be eat i got an opportunity to act in a play i got the opportunity to audition for movies and serials that came out of the blue and i even saw the live tape of shruti hari haran's dance in her new comeback film all of these came to be in the most unexpected of ways coincidence the power of thought ladies and gentlemen thoughts have the unique power of making you or breaking you the key to success and the key to failures is the same we become what we think about we become what we think about 
If a person has to be happy, he has to think positive thoughts. But more importantly, he has to be conscious of the thoughts he has and change the ones that no longer serve him. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that none of us were born with the gift of comfort or luxuries. But we were given the gift of thought. In fact, we tend to take things for granted that are given to us for free. But the ability to think what we want is the only thing that differentiates a winner from a person who quits. A person who remains happy from a person who becomes sad. If all of you are still waiting for that perfect moment in your life when you want to apply this, then let me tell you, as the person who lived each breath at a time, that the only moment you have is now. Everything else is just a repercussion of that. Back to you, Kiori.